From Krumo Media in Johannesburg, I'm Simone Lutzka. Joining me today is IoT Next Mining Director of Partnerships, Eric Kruser, to discuss technology mining and how IoT is planning or aiming to get involved. Your solution um, is technology agnostic, thereby enabling your clients to deploy a best of, best of breed technology. Could you tell me a little bit more about this? So, look, we believe from a specific mining uh, deployment is that there's been a lot of money already spent on sort of capital infrastructure and systems in, in mines. Uh, the traditional business model for, for the incumbents was to sort of lock you into the stack, so to, to control everything from the, from the sense all the way through to the cloud. And what that has led to is very, very good deep systems but not necessarily the most efficient cross holistic system. So when we say we, we're technologically agnostic, we mean we really don't care what type of, of infrastructure, what type of system is available on the operation. We can plug into any of those. Then what we do is we actually take those systems, um, uh, make sure that they are able to speak to one another, and then, then lift the total efficiency of, of the system. The digitization of our world is fundamentally changing the way that we interact. How does this affect mining operations? So I think what digital brings, it reduces, significantly reduces the time latency between the event and actually getting the information. So if we take a normal deep level conventional mine, if a shift goes underground and they start working, we only understand whether or not the targets were achieved or the, or the plan was actually executed by the end of that shift. We only then sort of understand the, the uh, co or get confirmation of that the following shift when, when, the, when the next shift goes down to actually see whether or not that did happen. So it could be 20 to 24 hours between the event and actually understanding what the event was, was about. Now digital brings that information, that data, to the fore a lot quicker, reducing the time latency. And now we can start making decisions sort of in time. So, so we like to refer to it as, as real-time in-shift optimization. If I can have an event that triggers some form of data stream, I bring that data out, I then give it to the decision maker to, to make a decision and then actually uh, effect that event, all of a sudden we're really lifting efficiency within that operation. Correctly implemented, this core digitization technology can lay, lay the foundation for true transformation. Uh, why is this important? Look, we believe that, that technology is the underpin, or that the data is the underpin to, to this efficiency. But it's not the sort of silver bullet to fix it. Change management is still very important. Leadership is still very important. Um, what we just do from a technological perspective is assisting our people, empowering our people to actually have those tools to make better decisions. So we believe that the, the underpin to all of this is having that entire system integrated. So you've got all of these sort of disparate systems, right? You've got your load and haul fleet system, you've got your crashing and screening system, you've got your beneficiation plan system, you've got your uh, PDS system, you've got your biometric system. All of these things by themselves are really good systems. But if you don't integrate them to understand what the total holistic view looks like, you're probably not unlocking the true efficiency within that system. So technology is the underpin, but what it does is we believe it assists you better to do more with the same. So really empowering your people, giving them that information, giving them that decision-making ability right on the, on the coal face or at the edge to actually unlock the to total, total value of, of, the, of the mining operation. That was IoT Next Mining Director of Partnerships, Eric Kruser, discussing technology in mining.